Black-Eyed Susan, also known as Rudbeckia herta. This member of the composite family is both a biennial, meaning it'll live two years, or a short-lived perennial. And it grows in a habitat of dry to moist open places, fields, roadsides, and waste places. The plant grows between one and three feet tall and has a yellow with a hint of green flower, which is in bloom between June and October. The flower has seven or more regular parts or rays with a blackish brown disc. The daisy-like flower head is two to four inches wide. The plant has alternate leaves and the leaves are entire or slightly toothed, oblong or lance-shaped with bristly hairs. The stem is covered with bristly hair. Warning, some people are contact sensitive with this plant. As for the plant's medicinal properties, the Cherokee used the rudus for earaches. Internally, an infusion was taken for swelling due to retaining fluid, flux, meaning excess of flow or discharge, and some venereal diseases. Externally, a warm infusion of the root was used as a wash to base sores, for swelling caused by worms, and used as a wash for snake bites. The Chippewa made a poultice of the blossoms in another plant and used for babies. The Iroquois made a pediatric parasite remedy for worms in children. Put two roots in one cup and steep to a tea. Give one tablespoon at a time and do not ingest any greasy or salty foods. As a heart medicine remedy, they would boil the root and take a spoonful at a time. The Potawatomi made an infusion of the root and took it for colds. The Shishop Indians used the plant for sore eyes. As for the plant's other uses, the Cherokee made a brown dye out of the plant, and the Potawatomi made a yellow dye. Disc florets were boiled with rushes to dye them yellow. Then the rushes were used to make woven mats.